I'm going to do this video. I did a video earlier, about a month and a half ago, on the glial cell. And this is kind of an addition to that, but I wanted to make this video because I do all my videos on the fly. I study, but then I just do them. And sometimes I don't get all the content in that I want to get in. So regarding this video, I want to get this extra content in based on my theory. You know, just to go over my theory very quickly that the Lord Jesus Christ helped me to figure out over the last probably four or five years. The bridge between the spiritual mind and the physical brain is the blood. The blood is the software of the body. And our spiritual mind uses the software of our body just like a computer and its user behind the keyboard would use a command prompt to enter the computer via the software and to write onto the hard drive. It's the same concept I explained in my book, Sally Captivity. But basically, the software of the body is the blood. And our spirits, our metaphysical spirits, on a scientific level, I'll use the word metaphysical, they use the blood engineered via the glial cell to enter into the neuron. The neuron fires or writes onto the brain. I believe the same thing takes place in the heart. Okay, talking about the excitable cells in the heart. Also, the soul that resides here, the spiritual soul that will write onto the physical heart and the spiritual mind that will write onto the physical brain, all via the blood. Okay, that's my theory. The Lord helped me figure it out. I did not read it from any human being. I did not take it from anybody. Okay? That said, I want to add a small addition. The glial cell is the cell in the brain that is attached to the blood vessels, not the neuron, the glial. And because the glials attached to the blood cells, the spiritual mind, via the blood, uses the glial regarding the thinking and the will or what the mind has perceived and chosen to retain. It uses the glial cell, and the glial cell will filter the blood, do its job, you know, regarding the contents of the blood. It will then take the essence it desires for itself, it will then take the leftovers or the plasma, okay? The plasma will then enter into the neuron, the synapse. It will enter into it, and as a result, because of the atoms that are contained within the plasma, there will be a firing or a writing onto the brain. When I use the word plasma, because blood, is con blood consists of 55% plasma, Plasma is 92% water. In nature, there's an element that mimics the neuron and also involves plasma, bringing my theory into light, making it more plausible. That element is a lightning strike or a lightning bolt. If you know anything about lightning, when a lightning strike occurs, basically it has a lot to do with plasma and the ions and the atoms has a lot to do with it. It's a gas, okay? And it's so interesting that when the lightning strikes, not only is plasma involved, but the actual firing or the, the, the writing that happens at that exact moment mimics what happens in the brain regarding our neurons firing. If you take a look at a neuron firing in the brain and you take a look at a lightning bolt in, in the sky, they look similar. You want to know why? because the same basic thing is happening. That's the way it works. And my theory kind of brings that together. And the way that I bring that together is the two aspects of lightning that I'm going to focus on are the plasma and the actual lightning strike. Okay? And guess what? In the brain, the two things that come together that interweave and join are the fact that the glial cell takes the blood, takes what it needs, gives the rest to the neuron, which I believe is plasma, Okay, there you have the plasma. And then within the neuron, the plasma is charged via the atoms, via the gas, and it fires. Bam! It looks just like electricity. Okay? And just like when a lightning bolt hits, it leaves a mark. Okay? When lightning hits, it leaves a mark. I believe when that neuron fires or writes, it leaves a mark. And I believe the mark it leaves is willed via the mind, via the blood, onto the brain, which is my theory, the software. Of, of, of our bodies. Now there's a distinct difference because our blood doesn't need a certain type of separate read-write 
you know, if you understand computers, they need a separate read-write to, to write onto the hard drive. You have the software, then you have the software telling the read-write what the read-write what to do. Then you have it, the read-write doing what the software told it to do, and it writes onto the hard drive. Not so with our bodies, not so. Because the blood has its own read-write within it. It's already there. So th basically, the, the emphasis is our software is so, the software of our body, the blood, is so sophisticated, the software becomes the component that actually writes. Do you understand? The software is not only the software, but it also ends up doing the writing, like the ink of our bodies. Okay? It has the rewrite contained within it via the atoms. So that's where our blood is so much more sophisticated than software on a computer. Because the software, between the software and the actual writing of the hard drive, you need extra hardware. Not so with the body, because the blood has it all. Once it enters that neuron, because it has a charged atom, because it's in the gas form, because of the plasma, it does the work. The blood that gets filtered through the glia does the work in the brain separate from anything else. So the blood, our software, which is the blood, eventually becomes the component that writes. That's amazing when you think about it. If you understand how computers work, that's amazing when you think about it because it becomes its own mechanism. Our software literally becomes its own mechanism to write. It's not so sophisticated when you only understand the body, but then when you understand computers, it becomes very sophisticated how the software then becomes the writing component, not software telling the hardware what to do, but software doing it. You understand? So I put this theory out basically because I want to add a little more teeth to my previous theory that the blood is the software of the body and the glial cell uses it and all that kind of stuff. You can watch my other video if you care to. But I want to put this out there because I want people to consider this. And this is what I have to say to scientists and anybody who will consider this theory. Reverse engineer it. I'm giving you all the information I have. I'm not a scientist, and I, I don't claim to be a scientist, okay? I'm a philosopher, and I'm a met metaphysical thinker, okay? So I'm giving you the lightning strike. I'm giving you the plasma. I'm giving you how the plasma is entering the neuron via my theory of the software of the blood and then the glial cell filtering what, out what it needs, giving the plasma to the neuron. I'm giving all of that to you. So think backwards. Take the plasma and the neuron. Take the idea of the plasma and the neuron. Take the idea of the lightning strike in nature and the writing, and, and whatever that lightning touches, it, it leaves a mark. And take all that and, and go backwards. And once you start finding answers, you're going to realize that my theory is solid. You're going to realize it, because this is how it works. And I've explained it in my other videos, and I have a lot of evidence in my book, Sally Captivity, regarding how the computer is basically reverse engineered of our human bodies. You want to know what a computer is at the end of the day? It's our bodies reverse engineered. That's it. That's it. Our bodies are reverse engineered and you have the computer. That's the way it works. And I have proof. So if you want to read and be honest with yourself, just read my book. I'll put the section down there. And it's free. So basically, this is what I wanted to say. Uh, the last thing I want to say is this is my work. It's a labor of love. I do this as guided by the Holy Spirit. I'm a Christian. I'm a born-again believer. Jesus Christ is my Savior. And believe it or not, he has led me to do all this work. I don't know why, but I've done it. And you have to, if, if you use this stuff, use it for the furtherance of science and everything that you want, but please source my work. Please give credit where it's due. I have not read this stuff from any human being. I did not read a book and figure this out. I spent time with Jesus Christ and I figured this out. And that's 100% truth. Okay? So do the right thing. If you're going to use my work, source it. I don't need applause. I don't need any kind of grandeur. I just want people to know what the source of this information was because I want God to get all the glory. I want Jesus Christ to get all the glory. And that's why I do these things. So this is what I have to say. If you have any questions or you want more information, you know, email me. But that's basically it. The neuron is like a lightning strike in the mind or the brain. And it, it, it's happening in both areas. That's what makes it so beautiful because the mind is using the blood. So really when you see that, that lightning strike and the, the neuron firing in the brain, it's the mind-body connection via the blood. And that's what makes it so interesting. And then when you understand the lightning strike and the plasma of the ion the gas, it all comes together. And it's the right mechanism. The software literally becomes the right mechanism. It's amazing when you think about it. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you and God bless.